My name is Paints and I play games. This is Paints Place. Hey guys, and welcome back to Paints Plays Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. In the last part, we did droid recovery mission on Tatooine, and in this part, we're going to do the emergency assistance on Bakura. I don't know why we're playing on a Yu-Gi-Oh character, but anyways, here's the description. Officials from the planet Bakura have requested our assistance. An unknown party is taking control of the power station up in the mountains. They sent a team to investigate, but they haven't found... They haven't reported in. Their concerns are twofold. They want to stop whoever has taken over the station, and more importantly, ensure the station itself remains undamaged. The station is built over a dormant volcano, and the facility is and if the facility is destroyed, the volcano could destroy the heavily populated city. The Bakurans need some want to infiltrate the facility and thwart the group's plans. All right, so we gotta stop a. Kyle is currently away from the academy, but he will meet you on Bakura. Then the two of you can investigate the station. Be sure to wait for him before you do anything. Okay, so we gotta wait for uh, Kyle before I do anything. Alright, um, I know I've been getting heal a lot, so... And I figured, you know what, this is pretty good. It's at level 2, it's steady, it doesn't heal all that fast, but it heals fast enough that I don't have to worry about it. So I think I'll uh, get Forced Lightning, because that is a really awesome and awesome, just freaking awesome power. And I said awesome three times in a row, because it's just that awesome. I just hit it five times in like ten seconds. Anyway, so grab the blast rifle and disrupt rifle again. Grab the thermal detonator. And let's begin this mission, shall we? Loading screens. Where are you, Kyle? I've been waiting here forever. Well, I can't wait around. I've got to do something. Alright, so we got impatient, because, you know, Jedis are impatient. I guess they're not technically not a Jedi yet, so... Anyways, let's go and head over here, and oh my, someone's dead. That's not good. That's never very good. Alright, so, looks like there's a lot of people have been killed here, which is not good at all. And since this is on a dormant volcano, we're probably going to try and blow it up and kill everyone. So let's run here, and uh, actually, when you start in here, you want to go over here... And, oops, I don't know how I did that backslash. Again, excellent, did it. If you want to smack that, and then there's a secret area with some stuff in there. Always nice to have. And then you want to check this camera over here. The charges are set, sir. Ooh, that's cool. Good. The Republic is getting complacent. They underestimate us. This will remind them what happens to traitors. Right. Blow the whole installation. I have to stop that countdown. We have an intruder. Take oh crap, they know I'm here. Ready. I'll hide behind this. They can't see me, even though with my bright laser sword. I'm gonna get you. you see where I kill these guys here? They get you. Then you want to duck under here, and another secret area is actually waiting you right there. There's a lot of secret areas in this mission alone, so. Yeah, I believe it's five in total. I think that's it. Alright, so, there's this thing, you wanna charge up a shot, take that out, take that out, and take that out, oh, missed, dang it. Ah, well. Get your lightsaber back out, hit that button, okay. and there's, you Four can take the elevator go. down, but there's nothing down there, so you don't need to worry about that. Head back over here, and, you know, there's a shield thing in case you took some damage for some reason, and it's just stormtroopers not gonna be taking much damage from them. But... You can attack that guy. Whoa, I got both of them with one stab. That was pretty awesome. Okay. Hello. Uh, this is actually my favorite gun of the game. It's the Imperial Heavy Repeater. It's not at all powerful, but it is fun to use. I just want to duck under this. Jump over that. Let's uh, demonstrate the repeater on that guy. Like I said, it's not very powerful. It takes a lot of shots before it can actually kill someone. Especially a higher... Oh, crap. Okay. It also has a secondary fire. Which it, it does this. Let's see. Okay, so the bomb is over there, so... The secondary fire is... That. It's like a little pulse... Like, grenade launcher thing. Look at all those, so we don't need to worry about them anymore, which is nice. 
So we killed a guy, and if you, if you didn't get the security key after killing him, just run over their body, and they'll usually, well, not usually, they will have it on the, their body if you didn't already pick it up. We can run up here, and uh, let's take this out. That just be on the safe side. This die. Maybe I'll get that boss Three range. more. Three more left, and we want to run back down here. And since I already took out all those trip mines, we don't need to worry about them. There are some stormtroopers that are coming for us. If you left them, they will like stay on the end of the hall. Which is kind of annoying because you have to dodge all those bombs or take them out on your way back. So I highly recommend just you know, taking them out while you're over there. But sometimes they will actually run at you, and they'll get killed by their own bombs, which is pretty funny. Come on, die. And I got hurt. Oh. I hit the wrong buttons. Are we all healed up? Go over to the left here. Oh. I guess my presence alone caused them to kill themselves. I guess I just scared them that mad. That mad? <laughs> that much. I was gonna say, I guess I was gonna start saying that bad. Or start saying that much and then went to saying that bad. And so I just sort of mixed the two words. Anyway, so you want to kill that guy and you want to take this elevator down here. Because there's another secret area. Just right over here. Just run around behind this. And secret area filled with health and shield. Or not shield, I think that's grenades. I'm not sure, but anyways. So I thought you, you'll have to call the elevator back up because apparently it doesn't know how to uh, stay down for you. Here's the only character that's going to use these on this level. Anyway, so, uh, running here, there's an invisible guy. Just take him out. Not too much trouble with that. Not I hit you, like, straight up, like, three times. Ugh. I hit it when they, like, it's like they're not even, like, wearing shielding, they just are wearing clothes. Did you want to take this guy out? You get security key, activate that bomb, and then you want to pop through here. Left. Up through there again, and get another secret area, which is four out of five for this mission. So we only have one left to go. And, uh, let's see. Okay, there's a little turret down there, nothing, you know, nothing important over in this area. Let's see. I'll activate my speed so I can speed things up. Because you actually do move slightly faster, like in real time. It did just, like, slow down time for everything else. It actually does speed you up slightly, so it is a good tactic in case you're speedrunning, but it didn't speed you up by that much, but it could make the difference between uh, life and death in some situations, actually. It's actually really helpful in the later levels when you're fighting a lot of tough enemies. So, I'm, uh, yeah, there's nothing left over there, just some uh, enemies if you want to fight them. Take that guy out. I believe if you hop down here, there's some items, it's not considered a secret area, but yeah, there's a shield booster down there, if you want to grab that, which is always nice, you want to run over here, jump on this elevator, you don't actually have to jump, but you know what I mean, and hop up this, pick out that guy, pick out that guy, and run through this door over here, and I believe, yeah, if this is the way you go. Hop over this. Be sure to time your jump shot because you know your force jump is still fairly weak. I hit that switch. And here's the room we saw in the security camera earlier. I think the camera's like over there somewhere. Anyways, you want to hit that switch? Only that always frustrates more. me because it doesn't go up all the way, and I always think like maybe I did something wrong. So I was like, did I do something wrong there? Anyway, so oh, shielding. Shield packet there in case you want to grab that. So it's nice. Get that guy out. You actually don't want to leave this room just yet. You want to kill that guy. Take this elevator downwards. Jump over here. Shoot. Uh, okay, I messed up. 
Well, actually, the bomb, the last bomb is right here, so. I actually forgot where it was, so I was like sort of scouring. Well, I don't think where it was. Alright, seriously. There we go. Okay, so the reason I was coming out here in the first place, aside from the bomb, was you want to hop over here, get up onto this, and last secret area of the mission. So now that that's done, we can, uh. Go over down here through this door. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. There's some shielding and ammo in case you need that. Get that switch there while it comes out to kill that guy as well. Wait for it to slowly go back up. Come on. There we go. Kill them so they don't follow you. Yeah, and you can just hop down here, lay on the boxes to avoid any fall damage that you might do. And then you're good to go, really. Use force speed so you can take out these guys quickly, so you don't have to worry about them too much. Oh, I hate these invisible guys, they're so annoying, because, I mean, it's not, not even the fact that they're invisible that makes them annoying, it's just that they're unnecessarily tough. They're not like specialty armor or anything, they're just invisible. So I'm like, unless the visibility gives them like some shielding or something, it didn't make any sense. But anyways, so... Well, oh, that was close. Oh crap, there's a lot of guys. Not all that's taken care of. And just leave the facility now. There's a few guys in here that will try and kill you. And then, a few more outside. They're really trying to keep them from leaving, so they deactivate all their bombs. I don't know why they can't reactivate them. I mean, they're still there. It's not like they're gonna, you know, be completely destroyed or put down new bombs or something. I don't know. Anyways, so now we're done here. We finished the mission. Sorry I never made it to Bakura. You seem to handle yourself okay, though. Five out of five secret areas. Awesome. And you never came. You are a terrible master. You never help out. You like... Ugh. Anyways. So. That was it. We killed all, like, 62 enemies. Got five out of five secret areas. And yeah, this so we finished... more serious. Oh. We have been receiving numerous reports of a Sith cult called the Disciples of Ragnos appearing all over the galaxy. Alright, so something about the Disciples of Ragnos, part of the main story. But anyways, so we finished Emergency Assistance on Bakura in this part. And in the next part, we will do Merchant Rescue on Blengeel. That's an odd name. Anyway, so we will do Merchant Rescue on Blengeel. I shall see you guys in the next tart. Tart. I keep saying tart for some reason. Anyways, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.